Welcome to IAS Academy. Prior to the 2023 preliminary exam, we will cover 15 questions daily in a video. I have already uploaded 40 test series last year. So, let's start our session. Our first question is Consider the following pairs All India Anti Untouchability League Mahatma Gandhi, All India Kisan Sabha, Swami Sahajanan Saraswati, Self Respect Movement Naika, E.V. Ramaswami. Which of the pairs given above is or are correctly matched? The answer to this question is option D, all the above. Harijan Sevet Sang or All India Anti Untouchability League is a non profit organization founded by Mahatma Gandhi in 1932 to eradicate untouchability in India. All India Kisan Sabha is a peasant friend working for the rights of the farmers and anti feudal movement in India. It was founded in 1936 at INC Lucknow session as All India Kisan Congress. Sajanan Saraswati, who was the pioneer of Bihar. Kisan Sabha movement and founder of Bihar Provincial Kisan Sabha was the first president of All India Kisan Sabha. Self-respect movement was started by E.V. Ramaswamy Naika in Tamil Nadu in 1925. It was a dynamic social movement aimed at destroying the contemporary Hindu social order in its totality and creating a new rational society without caste, religion and God. It was an egalitarian movement that propagated the ideologies of breaking down of Brahmanical hegemony equal rights for the backward classes and women in the society and revitalization of Dravidian languages like Telugu, Tamil, Kannada and Malayalam. So her answer to this question is option D. Question number 2. Consider the following statements. In the revenue administration of Delhi Sultanate, the in charge of revenue collection was known as Amal. That is correct. The Ikta system of Sultans of Delhi was an ancient indigenous institution. That is incorrect. It was not an ancient indigenous institution. The office of Mubakshi came into existence during the reign of Kalji Sultans of Delhi. That is incorrect. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option A. Statement 1 only is correct. In the Delhi Sultanate, task of collecting revenue directly from person and measurement of land rested on amils. The Ikta system was unique type of land distribution and administrative system introduced during the reign of Iltamish. Ikta system evolved in West Asia significantly in Persia. It was not an ancient indigenous institution. Mubakshi was the head of military administration in the Mughal Empire. The responsibility of Mubakshi was to gather intelligence and make recommendations regarding military appointments and promotions. So her answer to this question is option A. Statement 1 only is correct. Question number 3. Consider the following statement. Saying Nimbarka was a contemporary of Akbar. Saint Kabir was greatly influenced by Sheikh Ahmad Sahindi. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? The answer to this question is option D. Neither one nor two of the statement are correct. Nimbarka was a 13th century philosophical saint whereas Akbar's time period was 1542 to 1605. Saint Kabir was 14th or 15th century poet whereas Sheikh Ahmad Sahindi was 16th century scholar. So her answer to this question is option D. Question number 4. Which one of the following national parks lies completely in the temperate alpine zone? Options are Manas National Park, Namdabha National Park, Neora Valley National Park, Valley of Flowers National Park. The answer to this question is option D. Valley of Flowers National Park. The Valley of Flowers National Park located in the Chamoli district of Uttarakhand. The inland of regions comprises Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve along with the Flower Valley. This region is blessed by a rich flora and fauna which covers a vast area of alpine flowers and the valley of flowers in general is divided into three sub-alpine vegetation. Mesmerized by its virgin beauty, the valley of flowers was declared as a national park of India in 1982. At present, the valley of flowers enjoys the privileges of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, your answer to this question is option D. Question number 5. On 21st June, the sun, options are, does not set below the horizon at the Arctic Circle, does not set below the horizon at Antarctic Circle, shines vertically overhead at noon on the equator, shines vertically overhead at the Tropic of Capricorn. The answer to this question is option A. That is, on 21st June, the sun does not set below the horizon at the Arctic Circle. 21st June is the longest day in Northern Hemisphere. Technically, this day is referred to as summer solstice. In Delhi, the day length is around 14 hours. It is the longest day and shortest night of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. During this, countries in the Northern Hemisphere are nearest to the sun and the sun shines overhead on the Tropic of Cancer. During the solstice, the Earth's axis around which the planet spins 
completing one turn each day is tilted in a way that the north pole is tipped towards the sun and the south pole is away from it at the arctic circle the sun never sets during the solstice so our answer to this question is option a question number 6 there was a growing awareness in our country about the importance of himalayan nettle because it is found to be sustainable source of options are anti malarial drug biodiesel pulp or paper industry textile fiber the answer to this question is option d textile fiber Giardinia diversifolia also known as Himalayan nettle is a perennial herb used in Nepal to make fiber for textile as well as in traditional medicine for the treatment of several diseases the plant is found on a clump with many stems whose bark contains strong smooth and light fibers largely used for textiles in Nepal it occurs abundantly in different parts of Nepal notably in hill forest on moist and damp soil at altitudes of 1200 to 3000 meters It is also found in northern India, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, East Bado, Central China, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Africa. So, the answer to this question is option D. Question number seven comes to the following states: Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha. With reference to the states mentioned above, in terms of percentage of forest cover to the total area of a state, which one of the following is the correct ascending order? From the options, in terms of percentage of forest cover to the total area of state. Chhattisgarh have the highest and Maharashtra have the least forest cover. So here answer to this question is option C. As per the Forest Survey Report 2021, area wise Madhya Pradesh has the largest forest cover in the country followed by Arunachal Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Maharashtra. But in terms of forest cover as percentage of total geographical area, the top 5 states are Mysore, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur and Nagaland. So here answer to this question is option C. Question number eight: RNA interference technology has gained popularity in the last few years. Why? Options are: It is used in developing gene silencing therapies. Correct. It can be used in developing therapies for the treatment of cancer. Correct. It can be used to develop hormone replacement therapies. Wrong. It can be used to produce crop plants that are resistant to viral pathogens. Correct. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Here, answer to this question is option A. Statement one, two, and four are correct. RNA interference is a gene silencing technology that inhibits protein synthesis in target cells using double-stranded RNA. Hence, statement one is correct. RNA can provide a more specific approach to inhibit tumor growth by targeting cancer-related genes. Hence, statement two is correct. RNA technologies are now known to formulate drugs capable of reducing cholesterol levels by half. The technology also finds immense importance in treating acute viral infections like AIDS, and it can be used to produce crop plants that are resistant to viral pathogens. Hence, statement four is correct. So, the answer to this question is option A. Statement one, two, and four are correct. Question number nine. Scientists observe the merger of giant black holes billions of light years away from the Earth. What is the significance of this observation? Options are: Higgs boson particles were detected, gravitational waves were detected, possibility of intergalactic space travel through wormhole was confirmed. It enabled the scientists to understand singularity. The answer to this question is option B: gravitational waves were detected. The first detection of colliding black holes back in 2015 launched a bold new era for astronomy. Since then, many more detections have been made. When the two supermassive black holes in each of these systems finally come together in millions of years, their encounters will produce strong gravitational waves. So, the answer to this question is option B. Question number ten. With reference to Constitution of India, prohibitions or limitations or provisions contained in ordinary laws. Cannot act as prohibitions or limitations on the constitutional powers under Article 142. It could mean which one of the following options are: the decisions taken by the Election Commission of India while discharging its duties cannot be challenged in any court of law. The Supreme Court of India is not constrained in the exercise of its powers by the laws made by the Parliament. In the event of grave financial crisis in the country, the President of India can declare financial emergency without the counsel from the Cabinet. State legislator cannot make laws on certain matters without the concurrence of union legislator. Here we know Article 124 to Article 147 related to Supreme Court. So our answer to this question is option B. Article 142 provides 
discretionary power to the supreme court as it states that supreme court in the exercise of its jurisdiction may pass such decree or mix such order as is necessary for doing complete justice in any cause or matter pending before it so her answer to this question is option b question number 11 consider the following statements the parliament prevention of disqualification act 1959 exempts several posts from disqualification on the grounds of office of profit that is correct the above mentioned act was amended five times it has amended several times the term office of profit is well defined in the constitution of india that is incorrect it is not well defined which of the statement given above is or are correct the answer to this question is option a statement 1 and 2 are correct the law or the constitution of india does not clearly define what constitutes an office of profit but the definition has evolved over the years with interpretation made in various court judgments hence statement 3 is incorrect by this information we can eliminate option b c and d so her answer to this question is option a parliament has also enacted the parliament prevention of disqualification act 1959 which has been amended several times to expand the exempted list under article 102 sub clause 1 and article 191 sub clause 1 of the constitution an mp or an mla or mlc is barred from holding any office of profit under the central or state government but this act exempts several posts from disqualification question number 12 which article of the constitution of india safeguards one's right to marry the person of one's choice options are article 90 article 21 article 25 article 29 here answer to this question is option b article 21 the right to marry is a component of right to life under article 21 of the constitution of india which says no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law in lada singh vs state of uttar pradesh 2006 case supreme court viewed the right to marry as a component of right to life under article 21 of indian constitution the court observed that this is a free and democratic country and once a person becomes a major he or she can marry whoever he or she likes if the parents of the boy or girl do not approve of such intercaste marriages the maximum they can do is that they can cut off social relations with the son or daughter but they cannot give threats or commit or instigate act of violence and cannot harass the person who undergoes such intercaste marriage so her answer to this question is option b question number 13 which one of the following suggested that the governor should be an eminent person from outside the state and should be a detached figure without intense political links or should not have taken part in politics in the recent past options are first administrative reforms commission raja manar committee sarkariya commission national commission to review the working of the constitution the answer to this question is option c sarkariya commission The Sarkariya Commission's charter was to examine the relationship and balance of power between state and central government in the country and suggest changes within the framework of the constitution of India. Despite the large size of its reports, the commission recommended by and large status quo in the central state relations, especially in the areas relating to legislative matters, the role of governors and the use of article 356. So her answer to this question is option C. Question number 14. Adal Innovation Mission is set up under options are Department of Science and Technology Ministry of Labor and Employment Niti Aayog Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship The answer to this question is option C Niti Aayog Adal Innovation Mission is a government of India flagship initiative to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in the country The mission has been set up under Niti Aayog Its objective is to develop new programs and policies for fostering innovation in different sectors of the economy provide platform and collaboration opportunities for different stakeholders create awareness and create an umbrella structure to oversee the innovation ecosystems of the country recently adal innovation mission launched the phase 1 of the second edition of adal new india challenge so the answer to this question is option c Question number 15 which of the following statement is or are correct regarding the maternity benefit amendment act 2017 pregnant women are entitled for 3 months pre delivery and 3 months post delivery paid leave that is incorrect as per this act it is 26 weeks that is 6 and 1/2 months enterprises with crèches must allow the mother minimum 6 crèches daily that is incorrect it is 4 crèches
women with two children get reduced entitlements that is correct select the correct answer using the codes given below here answer to this question is option c statement 3 only is correct the maternity benefit amendment act 2017 amend the maternity benefit act 1961 to provide 26 weeks maternity leave for the first two children and 12 weeks maternity leave for children beyond the first two hence statement 1 is incorrect and statement 3 is correct as per this act working mothers will be permitted to make four visits during the working hours to the treasury hence statement 2 is incorrect so her answer to this question is option c so that's it for today thank you for watching we will continue with the next result tomorrow